hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video as you can tell by the title is a what's on my iphone 12 without further ado let's get into it okay so on the cover of my phone my home screen is basically just a picture of one of my favorite beach trips so now i'm gonna open up my phone but basically as you can see here are just like the manual apps that they already have for you on apple on my lock screen i have like a picture of my you know i guess siblings i include max as my sibling a lot of you guys don't know and i think he's like my little brother but my little brother is actually josh and max is like my little cousin we're just very close he's one of the youngest of my relatives and he is always over at my house and yeah he just really seeks attention because he's like so little but anyway so as you can see on the front page of my phone there's just like the normal apple app so i have facetime i really don't facetime a lot of people and then i have calendar and then i have photos i guess i could show you guys a few of my photos so my photos are kind of scattered sometimes they're just like phone numbers of people from work so here's a picture of my little cousin from the track meet here's some pictures of you know one of my classes here's just a bunny tiktok i guess <laughs> that i thought was cool oh here's a cool picture if you haven't checked out my brother's channel i'll link him down below he does a lot of dares and this is like one of the dares that he did so i don't know if his video will be up by the time i get this video up but here's a little teaser so the next thing i have is in my mail app i have a lot of like random spam email come through this app it's like nothing that's like super important or anything but it's just like updates from stores or any place that i usually shop and stuff like that um i also have a clock here i barely use this alarm i used to use it when i live in my dorm at mercer but i transfer colleges i used to use this clock so much just to like wake up because i never really had an alarm but now that i'm home i have a google home the next thing would be maps the most recent place that i've been is the legacy theater uh, i went like a couple weeks ago for this play that my old high school was hosting and it was super fun it was super cute it's called she loves me and it was about these two pen pals that worked in a perfume shop and they were always like bickering at each other and comes to know like they end up wanting to meet as pen pals and so they meet up and they end up falling in love with each other which is like so cute and romantic and i don't know i'm just like a big fan of rom-coms comment down below if you are too i have no idea the next app is my weather app i have like so many i guess destinations on this weather app because i just do it's places that i've all been to from the past um like macon would be from like my college miramar beach is like the most recent one because we went for spring break which was super fun destin is about the same i think they're both in the same location um and then we also have a hilton head one because i went to south carolina a while ago and then atlanta because you know obviously i'm from here and honduras oh yeah honduras brings back like a lot of memories when i look at you know pictures and stuff from there because i went on mission trips there throughout most of my high school which was like super fun and and I just miss those times so much. The next couple apps, reminders. I barely even use reminders. Like there's like nothing in here. So now for notes, I have a lot of random notes in here. There's nothing very interesting in there either. I'm gonna skip over news and books because I don't really use those apps, but I will show you my podcast. Lately, I've been really into listening to Duolingo, the podcast. I just really think it's fun to learn new languages. And if you didn't know, I try to keep up with my you know spanish even though it's so hard and just so difficult for me listening to the podcast really helps me just kind of i don't know pick up the language more faster and so it's just fun to hear cute little stories from their podcast another podcast that i listen to is whoa that's good by sadie robertson i love her inspirational podcast and when she brings guests onto her show i just love listening to the conversations and just like soaking up all the advice that i can but that's it for podcasts right now so the next couple apps over here health um i don't think i've been using this app very much yeah we're gonna move on as for home i really don't use much either <laughs> this entire video is just becoming me like not using any apps on my phone so i'm gonna move on to wallet i really don't have anything set up in here because the only payment method that i use is like venmo and i have venmo like in here but yeah i really don't even use any of that so and then i also have my settings app settings telling me something with my icloud because i always have problems with storage comment down below if you're the same and then there's some files i have like random little files just from like 
presets and then old thumbnails and just old pictures and files of like assignments that I like did in high school because this is the same Apple ID that I signed up through. I also have Find My iPhone. Barely use this, but the only people that are on here is my mom and my brother and I think it's just for safety reasons and everything like that. I know there's like Live360 and stuff like that, but I'm just pretty simple. Um, iTunes Store, I really don't use Apple Music. There's no purpose for that app. And then Contacts, they're just like all my contacts. Uh, for tips, yeah, there's nothing either. My phone is really basic. I'm just a very simple gal. Like my phone is just for contacting people, social media, and then pictures and whatnot. Like I don't sit there customizing my phone. Like I applaud you if you do and your phone looks great if you do, but I just don't. I'm just very simple. In my utilities, there's my calculator and then I also have my voice memos. I have so many unlisted voice memos. It's ridiculous. I've been kind of writing music. Comment down below if you want me to like release some of my music. I don't know. Like I just have never thought to do that. A lot of what I write is very personal and a lot of like what I sing too is just very like when I'm in my feels about a certain situation or like a certain past experience that I've experienced but maybe I'll like I don't know throw out a teaser here and there I guess and like share because I'm learning to like be more open about certain situations the next app is compass I barely use this as you can see but yeah I guess it's helpful for when you get lost here's also the measuring app this just comes like very I don't know <laughs> I'm just like measuring you guys up here. Then I also have the Apple Watch app, even though I don't have an Apple Watch. Okay, so moving on to my folder that's labeled folder because I don't have any other creative names to name it. I have the numbers app, barely use that. Keynote, I have nothing in here. And then I have the pages app. I think I have a few files in here, just like random paperwork. Also have the Hilton Honors app. I love the Hilton Honors app. It's amazing because we use it to travel and like we always book at Hilton because they're just amazing. And then I have the Roblox app. I barely even play Roblox. The only reason I have this on here is because my cousin like plays for me and I don't know. He created an account for me and it's just there. That's all I'm gonna say. I also have the Guitar Tuna app. The Guitar Tuna app is just for me to tune my guitar. Um, And then I also have the SB Live app. The SB Live app is this trivia game app that you can earn money off of. It's like not a lot of money at once unless you win every single game, but you still get something if you don't win. It's like pennies every single day and it collects up to be a dollar or something and you can like redeem it from their website as gift cards, which is really, really cool. I also have the IGTV app, you know, that's just there for me to do IGTVs. I also have TikTok. I post quite a bit on TikTok. TikTok is just really fun for me to express like my creative side and just make like little videos and just trends. But I end up posting a lot of them on YouTube or whatever, but some of them I don't yet. So the next app I have on here is the Bible app. I use my hardcover bible more often i use my devotion book more often than this actual app but when i'm like actually reading like devotions or plans with people then i'll use this app i do love having the bible app because i get to have my verse of the day like just on my screen and it's just super cool like i open my phone and just like right there like i can just read the rest of the day which is like really fun on my phone i also have among us this game like when it first like came out or whatever it was just super popular and then my cousin like just kind of dragged me into it it's super fun though i really like it and it's just really cool i barely play it unless i'm like with people but i just think it's like a super fun game in my food tab i have chick-fil-a because chick-fil-a is just amazing and i just love collecting points and everything and just getting free stuff also the starbucks app i I try to collect points on here and redeem drinks when I can because I just love Starbucks. Comment down below your favorite Starbucks drink. I'm just curious. Mine always changes up, but right now it's like the cold brew with vanilla sweet cold cream. It's super yummy. It's just like super summery tasty to me. I also have the Mr. Beast burger. I've been meaning to try Mr. Beast's burgers because I just always like see him advertise it and I love his videos and him as a content creator. But like whenever I try to deliver to my house, they're like, oh, your house is not in the delivering distance or whatever. And so I haven't gotten a chance to like try it yet. As I told you earlier, I have the Duolingo app. They're just an app that you can just do 
little exercises off based on any language. In my photo and video section, I have Fonto. Fonto is very helpful for making text and little graphics that are like already cut out when you're trying to edit and everything. Um, I also have Lightroom. Lightroom is so helpful. Lately, I've been into using presets and I found some free presets on Instagram. I think the girl's name is Andrea's presets. I'll just put her Instagram like right here. She has this blue like tinted preset that I really, really love. And this is one of the photos that I used with the preset and it just like brightens up the background and it just like really gives me that like summery vibe and I just love blue. So, you know, that just really ties the photo together for me. I also have Zoom on here. Zoom is just for work and just like meetings and everything like that. I also have Mojo. Mojo is more for my part-time job. I do little graphics and stuff on here, little designs. It's just a very creative app and I really like it just for little Instagram stories and everything like that. And then I have Social Blade. I barely use this and I haven't even logged in as you can see, but it's for tracking YouTube analytics and everything. The next app that I have is Stereo. Stereo is an app for influencers just to talk on here and have conversations with their fans and everything like that. The only ones that I've been listening to lately are Eric Decker. I really love his conversations and his like passion for YouTube. And so sometimes I'll listen in on his conversations with Tanner Fox and maybe just like submit some questions or something. The next app on here is my Shein app. I really don't shop from Shein that much, but my friend Pam kind of got me hooked on to it. I don't know. They just have like such affordable clothes and everything. I just love looking through trends and the latest things that they have. I also have Pinterest. I haven't even used it yet, but I downloaded it meaning to use it. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've seen designs from Pinterest and they're really, really inspirational and cute. And I just love seeing everybody's different styles and everything like that. Over on my next page, I have the Spotify app. I have added like about 600 like songs onto this playlist. Um, it varies from pop, rap, to Christian, to just everything, like country. I listen to mostly everything. I just love Spotify. They're super simple and I don't know, it's like $5 a month if you are a student. Comment down below if you use Spotify or Apple Music or I don't know, other apps or platforms you can listen to music off of. I also have the Target app. I do a little bit of shopping on here. I love Target. It's like one of my favorite places to shop. And then I have Instagram. If you are not yet following me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Um, I post pretty occasionally. I'm trying to get better about it. Um, and then I also have Twitter. I barely tweet. I kind of use this just to like, I don't know, keep updated with celebrities or whatever. I have a few friends that are following me on Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. I also have the H&M app. Uh, the H&M app is, you know, like another store. Uh, it's just fun to browse and shop. And then I also have the Google Home app on my phone. Google Home app is just, you know, for security reasons. And I also have a ring doorbell on my house. So I just want to like make sure nobody is out there doing anything creepy. And then I have messages. I don't really text a lot of people. It's more like just school people and then just some of my friends and then some for work and stuff like that. And then I also have the Safari app. I have like so many weird like tabs open here. I also have my like email tab and then I have like my school tab, just like skincare and then just like lots of things that I just Google. And then last is the phone app. Um, Again, that's just like my contacts and stuff. So with that being said, um, that is my, what's on my iPhone 12, iOS 14 updated or whatever it is. And if you guys wanna see my phone on the outside, here's a look on the outside. Um, I have like a few stickers on here and then I have like this pop socket from the shopping center that I go to. And then this phone case is from Sheen, my best friend Pam got it for me for my birthday if you didn't watch my birthday haul but yeah with that being said that is my what's on my iphone 12 i like watching these type of videos so i just thought i'd make my own i'm sorry if my like phone is very boring but i'm just a very simplistic gal yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe like and comment if you haven't already thank you so much for watching i love you guys very much and i will see you guys next time bye